Hi friends, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda and today I'm really excited to be talking to you about allergies. Allergies have, oh my goodness, tried to ruin my life in the past. So I have taken everything from Claritin to um, Singular. I've done all the things, Benadryl for years. I have had puffy eyes and a sore throat for every spring forever until I started looking into natural alternatives. None of those medicines worked for me. They all gave me side effects that I didn't appreciate. And so now my family has a list of things that we do every spring, like clockwork, every single day to help our bodies to naturally combat allergens. So there is pollen all up in the air. That's one reason I'm inside today. The wind is blowing really hard and yellow is just in dust clouds rolling through the air. And so everything is covered. It's disgusting makes me sneeze if I stay in it too long. And so I'm in my pantry again. As you can see, it's very quiet here. I love it in my pantry. It's just a peaceful place for me anyway. And so I thought I'd bring you guys in here with me so we could chat about this. The first thing we do, and this is like every morning and kind of throughout the day, is cinnamon powder. We sprinkle cinnamon on everything. Now, if you have certain heart conditions, this could be an issue for you. Um, so you definitely want to check that out. Look into that a little more. Know your body. If you seem to have problems with anything that I mention here, definitely don't do it again. Um, and then also I should mention that I'm not a doctor. I am not a medical practitioner of any kind. I am just sharing what works for me and my family and hope that it can help you guys too. So cinnamon powder is great with the allergy season and happening. And that is because in powder form specifically, when you ingest that, mucus will attach itself to those particles and it's easier to expel from the body. So if you are sneezing, hacking, you've got a post-nasal drip, I tend to have that very often in this season, it is very helpful to have cinnamon. This is especially helpful in the morning time. So if you wake up and you have that icky, yucky, scratchy gunk happening in your throat and it's just ucky, um, you should have breakfast with cinnamon. It will be your best friend. So we put it on oatmeal, granola, cereal, anything we're having. If we're doing toast, it goes on the top of the toast. Peanut butter toast. Anything that we have for breakfast, cinnamon. Seriously. Um, you can have toast and then do your eggs on the side if you do eggs every morning. I mean, it's just something that we do almost every morning this time of year is cinnamon. And then throughout the day, if we have snacks, if we have a muffin, if we have um, it, almost any of my baked goods, I put cinnamon in. Um, just anything that you can think of, you can put cinnamon in. You can take cinnamon powder in capsules. I don't see any reason to because we love cinnamon anyway. So we just ingest it in our food. I think that it's the most beneficial way to get any um, nutrient into you is through your food. And so cinnamon powder, that's my number one. Number two is gonna sound a little counterintuitive to some of us. Number two is to go outside. I know that sounds like, okay, duh, but we used to avoid the outdoors because our allergies were so bad. We would avoid going outside. We would go outside if it wasn't windy, if it was like conditions had to be perfect for me to step out the door for years and years and years because it just wasn't worth it. Well, now we make sure we go outside every single day, even if conditions are bad or if I, I don't really feel like going outside. <laughs> like... If the, it doesn't matter what the weather is, we stand on the porch for like 10 minutes, if, even if it's yucky, like raining and all that stuff. I feel like it's very, very important to be in touch with your environment. If you are not in your environment, your body's not going to know what in the heck that pollen is. It's not going to know. So we make sure we expose ourselves intentionally, obviously not to a point where we're miserable. So if, if all you can handle in the beginning is 10 minutes a day, make sure you're outside 10 minutes a day. Expose your body to the pathogens that are making you feel miserable. Over time, your body will be able to react more appropriately. And over time, you will be less miserable. So there in the beginning, it's, it's horrible. I understand. There are a few things like the cinnamon that you can do to combat that. Number three is honey. And so honey is a great, great, great asset if you have allergy issues. Get it local. If you don't get it local, there's no sense in doing this. But we buy our honey local from a guy um, just up the road. He has hives in like six cities that are, or towns, because we're out in the middle of nothing, that are surrounding us and our town. So if you are purchasing your honey like at a grocery store or something, and it comes from, let's say, somewhere up north, and you're from the south, 
and it's not local to your area, they have different flowers there. They have different um, types of trees, different pollen. So those bees are pollinating different things than you're used to. So it's not really going to benefit you. If you get it local, like we do, then the bees that are local are touching flowers and trees that have the pollen that's local. And then they're turning, they're making honey. If you're getting it from the grocery store, you need to think twice. Local honey is also a little more delicious. I'm just going to throw that out there. You may not agree, but once you've had local honey and you taste how delicious it is, you will not want to go back to just store bought like in the, the bear bottle. Mm -mm, that ain't honey. This is honey and it is delicious. We like to um, sometimes put it on a spoon. I do like to put like a wild or, or a drop of wild orange on that for my daughter and myself because that seems to soothe the throat if you're having any kind of um, throat issue like that post nasal drip we talked about. That's very helpful. The wild orange and the honey together. And so we just let it drizzle down our throat once a day. Just a little teaspoon. Um, you can also put this in like tea and things like that. You don't have to just take it like a spoonful if you don't want. Um, you could put this on toast. That would be really yummy on a biscuit. Oh honey. That would be so yummy. And so there are so many different ways you can have your honey. Just make sure you're using it. The last thing I wanted to mention that I do is try ease. So I use this, um, it's the seasonal blend from doTERRA. So this is in a soft gel form. I ingest one of these um, a couple times a day, just depending on how much exposure I'm having. If we are outside in it, like in the thick of the, the yellow clouds, I will take these um, before I go out, when I come in and later, just to help me combat some of that the yuck that tends to hit me. Um, but I have noticed an extreme difference since using these more often. And I just use these as needed. So if I have a day that I'm inside, um, maybe it's raining outside and I don't go outside. You don't have to take this. It's not like a medication where you would have to take it like every day and at the same time every day. And it doesn't work like that when you're using oils. You use things um, kind of proactively when you're using essential oils. And so this is one that I just, I use when I know I'm going to be going out in it and then as needed after that. Um, this is lemon, lavender, and peppermint because my daughter cannot swallow a pill. I have this rollerball blend made up for her. This is lemon, lavender, and peppermint in fractionated coconut oil. We're almost out. It's running really low um, because we use it all of the time. I will rub this behind her ears and sometimes mine as well. You can use this topically as an adult as well. Um, I put it in her palms and let her rub that together and smell it. And then I also put this on the bottom of her feet and it really has helped her with the sneezing and coughing and kind of that hacking thing, she doesn't experience that anymore. And so I'm not saying that essential oils are a cure for allergies. I mean, there are a lot of things that we do to help us with our allergy symptoms, but it does seem to support our bodies so that our bodies know how to act and know how to take care of those pathogens that are floating around in the air. Because, I mean, when you have those rolling yellow clouds and you can't breathe because you have uh, respiratory issues anyway like I do, then it can be pretty intense out there. I mean, it's, it's nasty. And so I hope that these four things will help you guys out. If you are not buying your honey local, I hope that you will find a local distributor. There are beekeepers everywhere. They're all over the place. And in my experience, they're often very, very interested in talking to people about what they do and how they do it and where their hives are. So if you know somebody or have heard of somebody in your area that is a beekeeper, look them up. I definitely encourage you to do that. Um, definitely start putting cinnamon on your food, especially in the morning time. I think it would really help you guys. And don't be afraid to go outside. Get out there in it. Let your body be exposed to that. And I promise it will start knowing how to act. A lot of the time, I think that we, we just kind of sterilize our environments. And then our bodies don't know what in the world to do. What is all this stuff? And it makes us more miserable. So I hope these things help you out. And I hope that you found this useful. If you did, like, share, subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next video. I appreciate each of you for being here. Definitely check out that description box as well if you are interested in any of these products that I mentioned today from doTERRA. And I will list some links as well as some information that you can go look at and read in the description box. So thanks, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And I hope you have an awesome day.